On this episode of Reaper Fish in New Jersey, we take the 43 Ocean back out to the canyons. You can see we're all loaded for bear there with all the electric rods and reels. Plan was to do a little deep dropping for tile fish, then try and catch a swordfish. We even get sidetracked by that old pesky elfin tuna. Let's see, Zachy. Yeah, yeah. hold on. All right, y'all, we are just getting on scene here, the first tile spot. We are in about 300 to 350 foot of water. This is mostly gray lines here. Um, and then an occasional uh, golden, but they're usually, again, smaller. So then we start in here, hopefully put a couple fish in the boat, and then we'll push deeper to the canyon walls. All right, guys, now typically for this uh, tile trip, I'd chill out. I leave it to Josh. Zach loves doing the short stuff, so I'm letting him do that. Make myself a breakfast sandwich. And for now, I just kind of spectate. Uh, once it gets real good back there, when they're getting a lot of bites, maybe I'll go out and reel a couple in. But um, it's fun for me to get out here and just have a nice, relaxing trip not be in the bridge the whole time or chunking the whole time so so welcome uh, change sometimes all right y'all so right there in the port corner you can see henry henry's about i think he was 14 years old in this video a uh, big strong young man his father has a house right down the street from me uh guys good luck with the new boat super excited i saw the new boat lift going up this week so i'm super excited what's going to be in store for you two this coming season uh you guys are going to be unstoppable now he likes to hook him at 30. All right, so we let our resident towel fish expert Josh go ahead and fill the box. Henry's on the port corner and he's actually hand cranking. Uh, it's a lot to do here in 350 foot of water. And then you see the odd couple there, me and Zach, doing God knows what. No, honestly, what we're doing is we're setting our drag on our sword rod there. Um, that was kind of the second goal of the day was to uh, to land ourselves a nice sword. Very important to always have your drag set. Super important when we're doing this deep drop swordfish. It's very important to have fine-tuned drags for both when we set the drag at strike and then also during the fight. There you go, babe. Got the tile gap. Right there you can hear josh telling henry you know you might want to check your bait because josh kept getting you know so many bites um it's easier said than done when you're in 350 foot of water with a 20 ounce jig um, it gets tiring but he's young he can handle it so as zach and i go ahead and finish up the sword rod prep you got josh go ahead and coaching henry there on the port side really neat team my group of guys are just great guys um, no one comes out there and gets drunk or acts silly and uh, they're good role models for when I bring out younger anglers. They're never going to leave them there hanging. Um, they're not selfish. It's, it's really cool. I, I can trust my guys to, to look after the younger crew when we get out there. Right about here, you'll see Josh's rod getting bit right there. See it bouncing, boom, he gauges the reel, and he's tight. So you can see there, Josh has a dedicated deep drop rod. That's actually one of his father's old Pen 50s. And you can see there it has a detachable motor it's 12 volt all you got to do is hook it right up to a 12 volt battery and you're good to go and then here finally we have henry hooked up on the hand crank rod Yeah, dude. 
first tile. Hold on, let me take the picture for you. So I bleed out this fish for Henry. Josh goes ahead and moves this back over for another drift. Team, I do my best on these trips to let Josh run the boat and be the captain. Uh, it's really hard. It's just uh, my instinct is to always kind of take over. You can see me there yelling up, Josh, where are we going? What are we doing? Make sure you get on this track. I have a really hard time just sitting back and relaxing, but I'm, I'm getting better. All right, guys, we've got Josh on again. Guys, he loves this. This is his this is his thing. Oh, he's on. He's, he's on there. <laughs> it's so fun, guys. He loves it. <laughs> All right. Golden. Not terrible. Josh, do you get these near your house or near your work? All right, y'all. Right about here is where the uh, towel fishing went went a bit awry. Uh, Henry looked off in the distance and said, "Oh man, what's that over there?" And I was just like, "Ah, you probably got some porpoise coming up higher, two tones, whatever." And uh, lo and behold, it was yellowfin tuna. So just like that, inshore in you know 350 foot of water, out of nowhere, the yellowfin just showed up. They hadn't been in our canyons in any sort of consistency for weeks. I didn't bring any bait with me, nothing. I wasn't as prepared as normal. Okay, keep going. So let's see what happens here. Yep, threw it right off. Threw it right off. All right, guys, we got we got Josh tight to the tile. So we just had Yelfin up top. Uh, Zach put the boat in perfect position. I was up on the bow. I went to make a long cast. I really wanted to make it count, and boom, threw the lure right off the rod. Probably my best shot ever at top water tuna. Well, I've caught him before in the Pacific, but not quite yet in New Jersey. Uh, that was my best shot ever. Oh man, there's tons of them. So we're just gonna kind of keep doing what we're doing, keep an eye on them, and uh, I'm gonna make a bunch of practice throws now. You wasn't going anywhere. That's a really nice one. Oh, not ready. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Can't believe I did that. Guys, I only beat myself up for one year, one whole year. All right, so the tuna just kind of kept coming up and down. Team, it's really hard to do a jig and pop on a 43 ocean. Um, we don't do it really ever. We don't dedicate uh, trips to do it. It's much better served, very much so more in North Jersey, but also on, you know, those go fast big setter consoles where you have 360 degree fish ability, all that good stuff. It's hard to do on our boat. So we were having trouble sneaking up on them. So basically what we did is we stuck to the towel fishing for a little bit and uh see what happens from there yeah i'd mark that spot dude we got a couple good ones there yeah just stay nice and tight there henry dude i threw the plug off i can't believe was i did solid. that was it wrapped around the tip it's no it's i had the it's a double albright knot so it's kind of a thick knot oh, okay. and i really wanted to i really wanted to get distance like that that rod's meant for jigging not casting so i knew i really needed to make it count so i let it rip and I just, I just threw the right off, man. I'm, uh, ugh. That was so dumb. <laughs> 55. Yeah. He's got a proper one. I'm never gonna let myself live that down. I just won't. I'm never gonna. Huh? They wouldn't have hit it anyway. Sure they would. <laughs> they were that's, a, that's just the Chris saying. Every time I go to the bow with a popper, I can hit that. <laughs> it don't get to look much better than that. So right towards it, I think, I think someone ate it too. I think something ate it. Oh, I bet. They were so fired up. Oh yeah, you got a big and nice one. Oh, I got bit. Oh no, you got me, okay. 
Yeah, he hit that big. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Josh. Whoa, look at that bite. Oh man, there's some good ones in here. Oh, yeah, Woo! That don't even want to go anywhere. Look at that. Dude, that's a that that's is, digging good, that Josh. Is a big one right there, man. Let Josh touch the rod, you'll get big. Shit, dude, that's a good fish. Yeah, mark that. That's a, I could I could give the tuna a little break, right? I mean, all I do is kill him. Zach, what'd you give me for bait? Okay. It's fun. I like fish. Pretty much gold on the whole yeah, what we should definitely keep a count too, though. Yeah, what's oh, what's yeah. the limit on the golds? Eight per. Oh, eight per. Okay. Four, 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 oh yeah, we got plenty. We got plenty. We we've caught plenty of limits, though. <laughs> oh, he's on there. They don't like my stuff. <laughs> no, nope. dude, it's hot. Yes, it is. Man, it is hot as hell, huh? Watching the sword rise along the couch. Yeah. And then and then we'll focus on tuna. Good. Good oh yeah, Josh. Where you see this one? <laughs> Dude. Dude, from around here. That's an awesome fish. Oh look where he's hooked too, man. You got him. I, I bet you he spit the hook and I just happened to catch him yeah. over here. That. That's a good size to eat too. Yeah. The big ones get a little rubbery, don't you think, Josh? Yes. Yeah. That's the that's the right size to eat. I uh, I definitely prefer. This is about as big as I like them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, forty five fifty something like that. Yeah. I, mean, I don't I don't mind catching one big one here, like on the oh, yeah. trip, you know. But as far as eating them is concerned, this is this. Is yeah. Good. What stinks about this too? There's no yeah. there's no release, and like once you bring them up from the depths, yeah. they're done. Yeah. The barrow trauma. Watch out, watch out, watch out. They're right there, right behind the boat. They're right behind the boat. You got him? This is a big sweep, Chris. Big sweep. There you go. Don't hurt a splat. Uh, I'll set one up. Give me a sec. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. He came right to the boat. Right Alright, watch out, watch out. Everybody watch out. Yeah, give me something to put put all this on. Right there. Oh my god. Holy shit. If we had bait, oh my god. Wow, that was cool, huh? Yeah. I can't put on bait. Huh. All right, here we go. One towel fish coming up. <laughs> it's really funny. Guys get so excited about the pop, the jig and pop. Yeah. I could care less. I know. I want to chunk them. I want them right behind the boat. That, that gets me more excited than Shooting Although a top water bite would be pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of them. There's a school back there, a school over here. Yeah. I see him jumping over there. We'll be able to fill our tile quota here. I thought I was thinking, uh, yeah, I mean, 200. No, no reason to drop into 600 feet. Right, right, yeah, if we're catching them here. Especially since they're deep, half decent size, you know. Yeah. Maybe do one or two there, you know, over there in the deep. Yeah, that real, uh, real deep. Spot. Yeah, look at a big one, and then if not, either go tuna fishing or, or sorting. Oh, there you go. Henry, you. That's a half decent one too. He's a natural team. He's a natural. Got some salt in his blood over there. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, man. Another nice one, dude. Oops. Look at these. Look at these beautiful yeah, tile fish we're getting here, dude. Unreal. Oh, yeah, this thing's got some nasty 
Oh yeah. Yeah. I thought you guys see the big ones. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, guys, we're filling up our towel quota here. I'm getting antsy. I'll get like the shakes right now. I'm going through like two of the DTs right now. My hands are starting to shake. I see them around me. I can smell them. So I'm kind of starting to have a little, you know, a little freak out session in my little brain. Nice goal, uh, Gray. Swing it this way. Yeah, you might have to pick it up. Good, I got a bump. Yeah, nice gray. They're so pretty, man. Yeah, the when gray lines are really pretty. The, or the blue lines, the rather. Like that. You can really see the blue in it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Look at this color. See the yeah, blue in them? Pretty. Beautiful in front of fish. The eyes. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta switch my rig, dude. You I'm not just bit. Oh. I thought Zach would be proud. I actually used right, the washdown sure hose for shirt. once. Pretty excited for myself. Pretty rare I actually care about keeping the boat clean. All right, team, I typically stick to the uh, all-electric. This is the Daiwa Tanacom 1000, and that's a Daiwa deep drop rod. Um, the rod is a few years old. They subsequent to that made uh, a few upgrades to it. And I, for the life of me, could not catch one. What's that? It's been right past you. They're like, yeah, hey, you got no chunks. Gave you the fin. Yeah. The rest of them around you. Yeah, you got nothing. I see you, Reaper. You forgot your chunks today, did you? Yeah. Swim right on by. Chris thought he could go tile fishing. Who does he think he is? We're right here. <laughs> you, <get that>? you sure? <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, I popped him off. Now. I suck. Make sure you drink water, Josh. Actually, that sounds pretty good right about now. Right yeah. in here? Yep. On the left side. Thanks, Bob. All right, so I was just using a standard deep drop rig there. You can see with those tubes, it kind of offsets the each hook a little bit on the long dropper. Um, Traditionally, they worked just fine in the past. This day, they just wanted uh, a very simple approach with just two hooks and, and not a whole lot of bling to it. Uh, little crab leg. Crab claw, yeah. Isn't that cool? Want to spit it out? Yeah, I want them to spit it up. That's why they taste so good. They live in the deep cold and all they eat is lobster, crab, weird looking shrimp. Pretty sure at this point, Josh was pretty well overheated there. <laughs> you can see he soaked through his tank top. He had to take off the long sleeve shirt. Uh, unfortunately, the air was not functional again this season. Hopefully, we'll get that remedied this off season. It's a scorcher, especially you, Josh. Face, dude. Yeah, dude. I don't, know, I, don't, I, don't know. I try to wear that long sleeve shirt because I, I think it like you know helps you stay cool. It's too hot today. All right, guys. So this tile spot's kind of drying up. Uh, the elfin came back up. I'm gonna see if I can't get Jackie back in position here. Put a popper in his face. And then it, we're gonna go deep drop in one, one more deep spot out there. And then we're going to sort. Can't seem to sneak up on guys. This boat's heavy, big diesel boat. It's not quiet. You're right here. Perfect cast. Boat's off too. Oh my god, dude, there's so many of them. All right, you're gonna get bit right in front of you, dude. We're literally going right into them. That's it, that's it. The one. Oh, he's right near it, Jack. He's right on it. Come on, baby. Henry! Guys, send Henry up here. Got him, Zach? Oh. <gasps> Guys, he got bit twice up here. Really? Yeah. God. Look at it. Look at it. No, you sh no. Tie it on real quick, Josh. Josh, tie it on real quick. The popper. Oh, they're all right there. Come on, eat it. Josh, hurry up. Get that popper on. 
This is unbelievable. I never, I never seen anything like it. There's hundreds of them. There it is. There it is. Drag good, bud. I had a little tighter so I could make sure. Okay. Yep. We're on. Look at him go. Yeah, Zach's on, dude. Yeah, we're on. You be ready, Josh. Get that jig ready. There's tons of them. Josh, I got close. I got close. I saw their direction. Yeah. And I shut the motors off. Yeah, I saw them. I need from you, Zach. Zachy? Yeah. Hold on. Ready? Change of plan. Here on the chug. On the chug, Norris. Just watch your hooks, baby. <laughs> Show your chug. I've been hearing about this chug Norris for about 10 years now. <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna get ready again. Alright, you're good. Alright. Alright guys, that's cool. One for one. Uh Zachy got him wrapped around the, the bottom there. Got him wrapped around the gear. Uh, I've gone swimming many times to go save a tuna, so there's another time. He was wrapped right around the prop, so we got really lucky. It frayed uh, the main braid a little bit, so hopefully we're okay. No, and there they are. Oh my god, they're right here. The rod will just bend over and blow it off. Yes! Yes! You got him! Oh, he spit it off! Oh, he spit it? I was gonna say, we're right on him, dude. I just turned the boat off. Maybe they're still there. Oh, guys, Zachy had him. He spit the hook. Oh, there they are. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, they're really on the feed, too, boys. That was perfect, bud. We had them. He ate it. I know. I know. It was perfect because they came right up into us. And I, I, I had no, I literally turned the engines off. I popped once and I seen his little head like whoa. How big was he? Like a 40 pounder. That's, I think now there's skippies mixed in. Yeah. Gosh, you be ready too, because if he hooks up, yeah. they're gonna get excited about his, you know. Oh, Alright. Just in case. Come on, baby. Come up right by this boat. Come on. Woo -hoo -hoo. See him come out of the water there? 
I just can't sneak up on them. It's like you gotta get, you gotta time it perfectly. Right in them, baby. Right in them, Zachy. Beautiful cast. Come on, baby, eat it. He's right near it. He's coming right behind it. Yeah, make another cast, Zach. Oh my God, look at them. Oh my God, look at them. They're all around the boat. Maybe slow it down a little. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh that was a good feed. Uh, they're still there, Zach. They're still there. They're still all around the boat, baby. Pretty much perfect opportunity right there. Unfortunately, um, we didn't come tight on that fish. You can see, though, just as soon as they're there and around the boat, you know, putting on a good feed, just like that, they're gone. You're right near him too, Josh. Oh, he just missed it, Josh. Did you see that? Yep. They're really smart. They are up too close now. Josh had a, I mean, Zach had a bite too. Oh, oh man, guys, we just had two right there. Two bites. Didn't come tight. Ugh. Epic feed, wow. Look at him here now. Close enough, you want me to get a little closer? That's what I'm, I'm trying to like, yeah, keep the boat out of it. Look at them, look how fired up they are. Oh, look behind us. This is beautiful, man. We've never seen this, Zach. Come on, baby, eat it. They're coming right at you. They're coming right at you. Maybe we need a different popper, man, huh? Look at them, they're right under the boot. Oh. Maybe like something smaller. Look at them all. Come on, eat. Eat, God damn it. Oh my God, look at them. Ah. I mean, you're right in it, dude. There's hundreds of them, guys. Hundreds of them. I don't know. Different popper. All right, guys, so we killed one. Uh, we probably had two other bites. They seem to have gone down. The guys want to go kill a storm, so we're going to do that. I'm going to probably come back here before dark. Uh, but if not, I'm coming back here on Monday. Prepped. I normally have five, six, seven flats of bait on the boat. Today I should bring them. I knew we weren't doing this kind of fishing. And of course, there they were. I probably could have got them right in the chump slick, right next to the boat. Probably could have hand fed them, but it's all right. All right, I don't know, guys. I just lost RPMs on the port motor. I was running to the short spot. And out of nowhere, I just slowed down. I looked back, I saw a bunch of black smoke. Um, so I don't know, we went down the engine room, didn't see anything major. I'll get down there again in a little bit um, and see what's going on. All right, closer look at the engine room. Quick fluid check, all good there. Just a quick look at the inboard side of the engine, make sure nothing, you know, glaringly obvious. I'll see anything major. Oh, you got one? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm in. Am I, am I, am I diving again? Never on the popper, that was awesome. That's cool. All right, y'all came out of the engine room and uh, the boys were on a tuna. Uh, you have them on 60. Short leader, 60. Yeah. I, but like the couple I've caught biggest, it's like the easiest bite you'll have. Not the easiest, but yeah. Get an Yeah, look, there they go again. So now, Henry, as you get close, you just stay real patient, okay? Yep. And you'll see he'll start kind of doing circles and such. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's why it's so fun when you get them jigging or like this, you know? This is so much fun at 30 pounds. We're supposed to be sword fishing. Okay, reach a couple tuna. Oh, he's licking 
We, we had to check everything with the fluid anyway, that's all. I felt that anytime I feel those R's suddenly go down, I'm like, oh. As soon as I went like this. Oh, I lost it. Oh, he popped off? Ah. Oh. Dude, it made a really hard run right Pulled the hook. Ah, oh, that's okay. All right. Damn. That's all right. You didn't do anything wrong. Ah, oh, bummer. All right, guys. So it's around 6.30. Uh, zero level on that sword bite. Nothing. So we're going to try and uh, put a couple tuna in the boat here before dark. Uh, it looks really fishy. A lot of bait. So uh, let's see if we can, you know. Can't bump the total up here, but so far, fun trip. I fixed the uh, engine issue, super excited. Just uh, the hose clamp came loose on the hose that connects the after cooler into the manifold. So we weren't getting air into the manifold to mix with the diesel to burn. So we weren't burning fuel. And that's why we had that black smoke. So we figured it out. Oh my God, he's, did you see that? Did you just see him blow up on it? All right, I got another. Another miss, another swing and miss, guys. Damn. Went right after it. Boom. All right, so you can see we got the wide trackers out. We got our full spread of Sterling Tackle gear right at prime time here. And uh, just like that, the tuna decided to shut off. With the sun going down, though, we knew prime time was coming up for the big eye, and we thought maybe the yelpin would turn back on, you know, again, just before sunset. Um, so we just continued to troll, staying positive, good vibes all around. Oh, there we go, something just got hit. Yep, here we go, here we go. That's the uh, wide track. Okay. Alright, finally right at sunset. We'll get our bite, long rigger, wide tracker. Uh, this fish actually made a really good run, dumped a good amount of line. Uh, we trolled a little bit longer, see if we can get a you know a second or third bite, but it was just a solo. We cleared all the rods and then we ultimately got Henry all strapped in and let him go to town. Okay. So this fish, yeah, he really stayed pretty uh, far away from the boat. Just the guy said, just felt like a lot of weight. No crazy runs, uh, but one of our buddy boats was tight to a big eye, so we had high hopes. All right, y'all, Henry did such a great job once we got him strapped in. Again, big young man, he's a hockey player. He went to town, um, he's only gonna get better from here. Pleasure having him on board. Henry, we got uh, we got lots more tuning to kill, my man. See here on the starboard, Zach brings out the harpoon, just in case. All right, so I had Zach take over there at Endgame just because, again, we had Henry strapped in with the uh, harness. And, uh, I mean, you know, I didn't want him slipping or going overboard on his first trip. I don't think his father would be very happy with me for that. So we let Zach take over here at Endgame, and I, I didn't want Henry losing his fish. So here we go. Yelpin, uh, nothing to complain about. Uh, Henry did really good. That's really cool for him to feel the power of that fish. So that's really neat. Uh, nice yelpin, probably 70 pounds. Beautiful fish. Henry. Yeah. Give me a shotgun, brother. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's basically the end of the trip there. What we did was we uh, took a couple quick pictures. Zach always likes to clean up the cockpit. And uh, we settled in for the long, dark, three and a half hour ride home.